For this video, I want to cover a single tool. But trust me, you're going to spend a lot of time inside this tool. It's called a graph editor. Now, there's a couple of ways to get there. At the top from the workspace, you can left click on animation. And down here at the bottom, you see it says dope sheet and then has a little sub menu. You can left click on this sub menu and change it to graph editor. If you don't want to do that, you could also just left click and drag and pull out a tab at any point in time. And where it says editor type, usually at the top left, left click on that and go to graph editor. It's up to you how you want to do it. I actually like to use a combination of both of these because now I have the ability to quickly move a bunch of keyframes with my playback timeline. And in the graph editor, I have the ability to go ahead and identify one curve at a time. So let's talk about the graph editor. Come into pose mode. And the only thing we really need to worry about is just this master bone. And I don't need any of this on. So I'm going to hit the end button to hide that and get some more real estate. And here is our graph editor. It can be daunting at first over here on the left. Let's go ahead and click that open and you'll see a bunch of options. Every one of these corresponds to one channel and what it does. So for example, the X location, the Y location, and the Z location. My graph editor shows values going up and down over time, going across. It's going to help to learn how to frame this, whether you use the home key or select everything and hit F. So be sure to go ahead and frame them. But even then, if you frame things, things get really crunched up. Sometimes location values are really huge and your rotation values are relatively small. That's why I like to turn on normalize and it makes things a little bit easier to read. It's similar in your viewport where you can hold down middle mouse to move around and then control middle mouse to zoom in and out and kind of pinch and pull. Let's go ahead and only show the locations. I'm going to left click on each one of these and hit shift H on my keyboard. If you come up here under channel, you can see what that means. Hide unselected curves. There's actually a lot of settings in here, both under channel and key. But for now, we're just going to concentrate on taking a look at each one of these. As I mentioned before, the graph editor talks about movement over time. Sometimes these colors do correspond and sometimes they don't. So for example, let's come to this keyframe right here and I'm just going to try to left click and drag it. You might need to zoom in here and just click and move it. There you go. And you can see, even though this is blue, it's actually not moving me forward and backward. It seems to be moving me side to side. Let's come to global and you can see even that orientation <laughs> doesn't match up. So be aware that that sometimes does happen and it can be pretty confusing. I usually just grab one of these and start moving it around and try to figure out, okay, what is this one? What is that one? There we go. So now we know that our Y location values are our up and down. You might notice, by the way, that there's these little things called tangents and you can pull and drag them to create some really interesting bumps and valleys, etc. I actually like to just leave these all on automatically. And you can do that by going to select. And let's see, we need to find select all, which should be at the top. There it is. And then we're going to go to key. And there's a bunch of different ways to control it. But I like to go to handle type and either automatic or auto clamped. Let me show you both. Automatic allows curves to just gently go from one to the other. Key handle type auto clamped stops them at a certain point. That is your keyframe is its maximum value. So you can see it doesn't overshoot. There's honestly no right or wrong answer. And I use a combination of both, but generally speaking, 
I just use automatic. Interpolation type, by default, it's Bezier, and that's what we want, but you could make things linear. And easing type allows you to control how things ease from one into the other. Also here, I just leave it to automatic. I like to be really deliberate, so generally, I like to set a lot of keyframes and not control things through easing or tangents. So that's why you'll see me have lots of little keyframes going on in here. But sometimes I do want the computer to take over. And you can see here as I'm playing, things are a little bit crazy, a little bit tight. So I'm just going to go ahead and left click and drag and just delete these right here. And over here at the top, you see how it starts to ease into it. I actually don't want that because if I zoom out here, it's going to make it look like the Starfighter slows down at the end. And I don't want that. I want it to look like it's always picking up speed. So in this case, I'm going to left click and drag just to select that dot and go to key, handle type, vector. And now you can see it's not going to ease into that. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. And look at that. It doesn't look like it's easing. It just keeps going. Now, one last thing. What if you wanted to really keep going? Do I have to go ahead and animate another one? No. Make sure you still have this selected. So left click and drag a box. Go to channel. Look for extrapolation mode. And go to linear extrapolation. Now you can see it started to draw some new keys for me. There's actually no key at all here. It's just extrapolating based on my tangent. So if I come over here, I can click play and watch my Starfighter take off into the distance. The graph editor got overhauled inside of Blender 4.0. It's way more robust. It renders significantly faster when you have lots of keyframes. And honestly, it's one of the best features for animating inside of Blender. It might be confusing and tedious at first, but I highly recommend that you add it to your workflow. So go ahead and dig in and see how awesome you can make this animation with your newfound skill.